Hey, Dan from the future here. This video is to serve as a tutorial on how to install this modification to the Radio Master Boxer. Um, this is intended to reduce the length of the antenna while still preserving its signal quality by having the antenna outside of the radio. Also making it a lot more durable from twisting, from bending, or snapping off your RP SMA. Uh, as you see, it's just a simple 3D print. The only real modification to the casing is that you will be drilling a hole right here. You can undo this mod. The only thing you can't undo, obviously, is the drilled out hole. But does not affect you putting in a module later, as long as you undo the mod by putting the RP SMA mount back onto the board on the inside. And in this video, you'll see that we take out the board because the RP SMA mount is actually uh, mounted onto the board, but it's backwards. So you have to take the entire board out and then undo the screws and put it all back together. Kind of a uh, unfortunate design, but it is what it is, right? So here's the video, enjoy. And how you take this apart is kind of complicated because you have these plugs up here, the USB, audio jack, and DSC. And then you have to make sure not to snap these little suckers off. So what I do is I start from the bottom. You don't have to remove any of these plugs here. This is attached to the LCD. This is the power for the LCD, if I'm not mistaken. This is for your ELRS module or whatever module that you might have here. I don't know. Um, you have to unplug your right gimbal, your left gimbal, this plug here, which is the power button. And these are pretty clearly, um, they're, they're pretty clear what they are. So this one goes to this little plug here. The switch on the other side is this three prong right here. And then there's another two prong for this other switch right here. So it's pretty clear which cable goes to what. So we do the same thing on the other side, but there's no third plug here because the power button's right there. And then once we make sure we have everything unplugged, you lift from the bottom, make sure that this doesn't get stuck because it's actually slotted in there. So there's a little bit of pressure you have to pull it up this way, pull it up towards you. So then if you notice, you'll, it'll kind of be stuck. And that's because these little ports on the top, and it's hard to get a, those are the buttons that just fell, the buttons on the other side. So these, these are kind of a pain. I've taken this apart a couple of times and these always fall out because they're not attached in any way. So you have to kind of pull up on this while you also pull the board towards you. And it's very hard because there's nowhere to really grab onto. And you can kind of use this, but I wouldn't put too much pressure here. And then at the same time, make sure that DSC port is handled past that. <clears throat> Once you get used to it, this is actually pretty easy to do. Um, it's that initial making sure everything's lined up. You're not cracking the board you're not breaking any connections. And then if you have everything disconnected, the board just comes right out. So we'll set that aside for now. So what we're looking for here are these two screws. These are for the RP SMA. I think that's what it's called. That's, you know, it's whatever. We'll unscrew these two screws here, put those aside. We'll want to keep them. We won't need them for this mod, but we'll want to keep them for later in case we want to undo this mod. All right, and how we put this back together is a little complicated. So if we flip the board back over, um, this is going to be your dial knob thing. There is a very small hole and it's just kind of friction mounted in there, but it's not very secure. So you kind of have to hold this and you hold it upside down. Take your boxer face plate here, move all your cables out of the way best you can. Power plug's important. Actually, no, that's the speaker, my bad. I don't know, it's not like they're labeled. We'll move this RPM SMA out of the way. 
We'll start slotting this in and we will just move these cables through here. Make sure the speakers there. Plug up here. Just be careful wrenching these tools in here because you don't want to break a diode or something that's important. So note how I have my finger always up against this drum. It's important because as soon as you put this in, it's going to try to move on you. Um, so you want to kind of put the top in first. And again, we look at those uh, DSC USB ports on that top and all the while these knobs that are in the front um, are trying to fight you the entire time. So get that slotted in. Try to get your thumb released from there. And then, this is the hard part. You kinda kinda flex the, well, move the cable out of the way. You kinda gotta flex the, the housing in, and you have to make sure to get both sides. I'm sorry if my, I like to power it up. I know it's upside down. Welcome to HTX. Speaker works, power works. Power it off because I don't have a antenna on there and we are good. So we will take the battery off so we don't short anything. This right here is the 3D print I designed. Um, it is made to eliminate a lot of the space taken up. On, and I'll be honest, this right here, this, I don't know if you can see that, a little closer. This antenna, now this isn't the stock, because I actually broke the stock one that came with it because it's only secured on the inside from being twisted by a very thin piece of, I think it's some sort of braided shielding, but that is the only thing it is preventing it from twisting here from this piece. So if you twist it too hard by accident or bump it, um, you'll just break the thing off. And I have a couple pictures, I will include them, of how I repaired this. But I don't really trust it to be the same as a manufactured antenna. So this was a temporary fix. But I, I hated this. This is stupid. It shouldn't twist that much. So my solution was this 3D print I designed. It's a little bit of a rough print, but you get the idea. Um, so this will actually slot in right in the original hole where the RP SMA existed. So what you do is you take this piece and you take your antenna and you pry it up and you pop it around. It is form fitted to here. It's going to be a tight fit and it should hold it like that. So what this does is that it allows you to, and we'll have to move this out of the way, obviously, so we'll just bend this for now. Um, it allows you to slot it in in the hole here, and you're out of your way if you're USB. It's much shorter, but it's still outside the case. Uh, Stinger Swarm, I believe, did an internal mod where he took a, another type of antenna, maybe it's a dipole, I don't know, and he had some range problems. Um, don't know if this is gonna really have the same effect, but it is shorter, so you're going to probably have a little less range. I don't suspect that it's going to have any sort of performance issues though, because this is going to be still outside, just about, what is that, an inch and a half, two in, mm, let's see. So trick here, your knuckle here, to the tip of your finger is typically about an inch, depending on how big your hands are. So that's about an inch and three quarters, maybe, inch and a half. So it's eliminating an inch and a half of, of this part, but I believe this part is shielded. I'm not a radio expert, so correct me if I'm wrong, but there's a copper pole, I, I guess, that comes up here and attaches to another copper pole that's soldered right here. And again, I'll have pictures. Um, it's just soldered over here or the right, I don't know. And then there's another copper pole that is a uh, different polarity, I believe, on the inside. Um, and you can take a look. I'll link the pictures again. Um, 
you can bend the original antenna like this, but there still might not be enough room. So what I did to solve that problem is I took a three quarter inch drill bit up and I drilled a hole in the back of the back plate right there. Flip this in here like that. I'm gonna be a little finicky. So take your, let's turn this around, take your antenna and also let's bend this so it's a little bit more in shape to where we need it. I'll do a little loop de loop like that. I'll just put that right there. Let's go ahead and attach this so that we don't have to fight with it the entire time being loose. So if everything is how it is supposed to be in there, it's going to be a little bit separated here. So you put your screws in. That's to be expected. And we will move that like that. Put this down here. Slot our casing around it. Make sure our little six pin back plug is there. Looks like it's good. There are cables from the gimbals that are going to get in your way over here. Just make sure that those are not being pinched by the casing. All right, so once you get the back casing on, you should have something like this. So what we'll do here is we'll be very careful because we don't want to rip this UFL out and we will Hold this part, and we should theoretically just be able to twist the. I'm sorry if you can't see that. I'll take some pliers and do this. So, oop. All right, after 10,000 years, we might be able to get this screwed in. There we go. It stopped. Don't have to make it terribly tight. And we just make enough room by pressing this in ever so gently so that it's pressure fit in here. So I don't ever use this port. Uh, in the future I might, depending on what protocols come out, but you just pop that in there and there's, it's gonna come up just a little here, but all these clips, these clips here should keep it solid. So that is what the mod looks like.